Good morning. This is Pastor Zach here with your morning devotion. This devotion is brought to you by the people of the Goodland United Methodist Church. The Goodland United Methodist Church exists to help people of all ages become deeply committed Christians. We do this as we gather to worship God, where we grow in faith, hope, and love, and then go and engage and serve our community. We hope you'll join us on this journey at the Goodland United Methodist Church. During this time of uncertainty with the COVID-19 outbreak and the recommendations about gathering together in certain size groups, we will not be worshiping in person for the foreseeable future. However, we will weekly have a worship service that is posted on our website and on our Facebook page. We'll post that on Sunday morning for you to enjoy a message and some music and some prayer. And we'll stay connected virtually as long as we need to, just so we can be God's people together, even if we are in a social distancing situation. Today, I'm going to read from the Gospel of Luke in the ninth chapter, verses 10 through 17. On the return, the apostles told Jesus all they had done. He took them with him and withdrew privately to a city called Bethsaida. When the crowds found it out about it, they followed him, and he welcomed them and spoke to them about the kingdom of God and healed those who needed to be cured. The day was drawing to a close, and the twelve came to him and said, Send the crowds away so they may go into the surrounding villages and countryside to lodge and get provisions, for we are here in a deserted place. But he said to them, You give them something to eat. They said, We have no more than five loaves and two fish, unless we are to go out and buy food for all these people. For there were about five thousand men. And he said to his disciples, Make them sit down in groups of about fifty each. They did so and made them all sit down. And taking the five loaves and two fish, he looked up to heaven and blessed and broke them and gave them to the disciples to set before the crowd. And all ate and were filled. What was left was gathered up twelve baskets of broken pieces. As I read this, I think about the times we're in right now and the uncertainty and the struggle everyone's having with maybe isolation and fear of the unknown disease that's before us. But this line in in the story of the feeding of the 5,000 really jumps out to me, verse 13. But he said to them, you give them something to eat. He didn't say, I'll take care of it. He didn't say, I'm going to do a miracle here. But he said, you go and feed them. You do this work. As I think about that, often I, I hear people in, in crisis situations often say, well, where's God? Why isn't God taking care of this? But I think if we stop and listen and look for God's work, we can realize that very easily Jesus could be telling us, you go and do this. You listen to what the experts are telling you. You do what you know you need to do. God isn't going to always just create a miracle in front of us. Sometimes God enables us to be the miracle workers, to us to be the hands and feet for those who need it. So in this time of uncertainty, let us listen to how we may be the helpers that God is sending into the world, how we may be the people who can bring hope and joy in the midst of a seemingly unhopeful situation. So you go and feed the multitudes. Thanks for joining us this morning. Have a blessed day.